Hello, welcome back. So it's a little cold today and um, windy, so you might hear the wind in the camera. Uh, but I wanted to take a couple minutes because I just changed the oil in the seven ton and I built a brand new building to park the seven ton in. I know it isn't parked there now, but um, <clears throat> the building isn't quite finished yet. Uh, when I changed the oil, um, I noticed a couple things, but most importantly, I took off the old oil filter, and so today, I'm going to cut the oil filter open and see what's in there. So that's what this video is all about. Okay, so I've moved inside because it's cold out there. And I've got my filter here, and I bought a wrench um, to cut open the oil filter. And I just got that on Amazon. So we'll hook this up. I also just drove a screwdriver through the filter so I'm able to hold the filter while I'm turning this around. And, you know, I'm really interested to see what's in here because when I bought my truck, my 7-ton, it had um, a little oil issue. The, the pressure wasn't nearly as much as I thought it should be. Um, it was okay, but it was a little bit low. You know, at idle, after it had warmed up, it would sit maybe around 25 or 30, something like that. And I thought, well, gee, it should probably be more than that. Um, but when it was cold, <clears throat> it would be at 50, which is a good pressure. And I thought maybe it was related to the oil um, bypass that there is on the engine, that if, the, if there's some kind of a problem, it bypasses the oil filter. Um, but I never got a chance to look at it and figure it out. Um, however, since I've changed the oil now <laughs> and replaced the oil filter and some things like that, interestingly enough, now the oil pressure has come up. Um, at idle when it's hot, now it's around 30. And uh, when it's cold, of course, it's still at 50. Um, so, yeah, it's interesting to see that just changing the oil made a big difference. And I did put in the same um, oil that the military uses, the same grade, 15W40. So, I don't know. It's interesting that just changing the oil and changing the filter made a difference with the oil pressure. Well, it looks like this is going to take a while, so I think that I will just turn off the camera for now and cut this open and show you what's in there at the end. Okay, done cutting. Boy, I got to tell you, these cat filters are really made strong. Look at all that metal in there. That's, that's a big piece of metal. But the part that we want to see, oh, something already fell out, is inside. Doesn't want to come apart very easy. And I think I'll zoom in on the camera then after I get this thing apart so that you and I can both see the same thing. Yeah, boy, it doesn't want to come apart. Probably because I used a screwdriver to grab hold of the filter while I was taking it apart. And now it doesn't want to move past that point. But already I can see that there is a lot of junk in here. Luckily I don't see any metal. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any metal in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, it's pretty dark in there. But uh, yeah, let me zoom in on the camera and we can take a look at some of this stuff. Okay, Get the camera repositioned. Um, maybe you can see in there now. There isn't much to see. Um, there's a little bit of gunk down at the bottom, but I don't see any metal in there. In there. This little piece fell out, but um, 
looks like it's just plastic so I'm not gonna worry about that it's the same kind of plastic as here so and I'm sure that when I shoved that screwdriver through there it knocked something off but it's interesting that there's this uh, I don't know what that is some kind of stuff um, I don't know if it's sand or something um, so maybe that somehow kind of gunked up the system. I don't see any metal or anything in there. Um, yeah, overall it looks pretty good. This is the clean side of the filter in there. That's the clean oil. The dirty oil comes from the outside and goes through this, this way. Um, I might cut off this band and then open up some of the ridges in there and see what's in there. So. Give me a second to do that. All right, I've zoomed in a little bit more. I've cut all these uh, bands out of the way. And uh, looking in here, there's something. That might be from the paint. I really don't see anything in here, though. No metal. Uh, I don't see any, you know, shavings or anything. So overall, I'm pretty pleased with this. Seems like... Uh, the motor inside my truck, which is a C12 Caterpillar, um, is doing really well. Um, so yeah, and I'm especially happy now that the oil pressure has come back up. Um, yeah, this looks really clean. I don't see any problems here at all. Uh, so, I'm very relieved about all that. And that's how you cut a filter open. Oh, the thing I should... Um, mention is the size of this tool uh, the cat filters are pretty big and so I made sure that I got one that was really long um, I can't remember how long this thing is but you need quite a distance between these rollers and the cutter here um, I'll put it in the description so you know how big a tool to get and in fact I got it on Amazon maybe I'll just put the link there too so if you want to get one of these, you can uh, get it and cut apart your own oil filter.